Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our thought for this evening. And we're continuing in the series of the Beatitudes, the Blesseds, that uh, we started last night. And we're going on this evening to Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This beatitude is often referred to at funerals to encourage people to remember that in their grief they can find comfort and solace in the love of God. Now, of course, this isn't untrue. However, I do think that this beatitude tells us much more than even that. I think that the mourners mentioned here are not just those who weep and lament over the deaths of relatives and loved ones or over misfortunes. Rather, I think that those who mourn in this context are those who mourn that often God is offended, so little loved in our modern world, so little honoured by people, and that so many people that Jesus loves end up being lost to his love. They mourn at a world that has abandoned God and his plan for the world. These are people who realise that sin is evil, sin is serious, sin is to be lamented and wept over. And only those tears which are shed on account of sin are the tears that really at the end of the day matter. And yet for all of that, Jesus said, certainly mourn, but when you do, you will be comforted, you will be consoled. I wonder if you and I mourn at the loss of interest in God and a loss of God's love or a loss of the sense of God's love in our world today. Do we mourn about that? Maybe we should and maybe we should do more about it in our daily Christian lives. Let's pray. Lord, we mourn for those who do not know you. We mourn for those who live in despair and distress and who can't see an answer to the problems of life. And so, Lord, we pray that as well as mourning, we would be impassioned and emboldened to spread our faith and to share you and your love with the people with whom we come into contact. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good night, everybody, and uh, God bless you.